All right, today we got a very special interview here. We are going to sit down with none other than Mark Robson, CEO, Eminence and Casino Coin. Hang on to your seatbelt. Here we go. Digital Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Come on in. Welcome back to the show, everybody. We are sitting here with Mark Robson, CEO of Casino Coin. Mark, how are you? Hey, Brad, I'm great. Thanks. Great to hear your voice. And how are you today? I'm doing wonderful. <laughs> and I tell you, I'm right. really, I have really been looking forward to speaking with you. And I've spoke with Daniel in the past. Shout out to Daniel and the rest of the casino team and casino family there. I am extremely excited about this project. And in no small part because first, Daniel did the hard work necessary to move the project over to the XRP ledger, more scalable, more cost efficient, and all of this, and we all know the drill on it. But then they make a big power move and they they bring Mark Robson on board. And I said, who is Mark Robson? And then I start looking and Mark, you've got an incredible, oh. incredible work history and experience. Tell us about your, your experience with the gaming industry, and, uh, Isle of Man, and Bally's technology. <laughs> That's nice of you to say so, Brad. Thanks very much. Um, yeah, my I've been a gambler a lot longer than I've been working in the industry. But, um, yeah, started around 2002, 2003 with micro gaming. Um, I'm sure everybody's heard of them in relation to online gambling software yeah. um spent eight years with them launching a whole bunch of casinos poker rooms um i also ran their poker network as well as their land-based events uh monte carlo millions was our headline event uh ran that for for a couple of years and yeah it was it was great fun times um around 2012, maybe a little earlier, I started uh, working for a company called Shuffle Master. They do a lot of land-based games, and they were moving into the online sector. I headed out to live and work in Gibraltar, working for them, helping to set up their European operation. Sometime after that, they were purchased by Bally Technologies, and I became their head of their RGS, the remote gaming systems. And... Went out to oh. Vegas, spent some time there working with them, and yeah, had a great time, had a blast. Around well, 2015, headed back to the Isle of Man. I set up my own gaming consultancy firm, and I was working with a oh. number of um, B2B and B2C sites in the on online sector. Um, secured a role with the Isle of Man government as well as head of their head of e-gaming. So working with obviously the regulator here and all the licensees here um, and spent a lot of time working with other regulators too, helping them with, you know, with, with their regulations and how all regulators could work together to improve the player experience and enhance the player protection um, systems that everybody was working with. I find it to be a I, remarkable uh, combination very quickly here that you have the regulatory background and the industry background to go along with everything gambling. And I think that's just such a special combination. What brought you to Casino Coin? Casino Coin was a, it was a fantastic opportunity to put it bluntly. Um, obviously in the gaming industry, when you've worked in there for nearly two decades, well, like any industry, some things can start to become um, a bit run of the mill. Um, and I enjoyed the, 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 the opportunity to get thrown in with uh, at the deep end almost, um, with a company in an embryonic stage with a fantastic product and help spread the word of that product into an industry that I knew inside out, you know, the, the gambling industry. Um, it's, it's a fantastic, you know, the, the whole thing, it, we've, the gambling industry is an entertainment sector. 
Um, and a lot of people spend a lot of time um, enjoying their their hobbies and their activities. Casino Coin bought an opportunity for me to come in um, and join an operation, to join Daniel, Matt, and the team to work with them to help enhance player experiences and essentially enhance the operator experience. You know, from my time in the gambling industry, obviously, I knew the the friction points that that both operators and players experience in um, fulfilling their leisure time doing their, their act, you know, the gambling activities. Um, so knowing the problems they have, knowing the solution casino coin can bring to that, it seemed like, um, yeah, a fantastic opportunity to use my skills and experience and knowledge to help bring a, a, a fairly embryonic company into the forefront of the industry. I just find it to be remarkable. I've made no mistake about it on my channel that I'm very excited about Casino Coin. I have a huge part of my family, my wife included, who absolutely loves gambling. So, you know, th this is just exciting to see because this is one of those uh, instances where we see a potential for the intersection of blockchain in traditional industry. And you've got the experience of regulation. I think you know where to step, where not to step, but let's get inside of how you can problem solve. Like, you know, let's, you know, I, I look at it in two parts really. And you tell me if there's more, but the, the two I want to focus on is there's the casino side here and the pain point you're going to solve for them. And then there is, the user side that are gambling online in these casinos and let's talk about the first where where you're solving problems here let's start with the casino side what pain point does casino coin solve for the casinos yeah i mean casinos themselves with the ever-increasing regulatory um coverage that's that's involved in the sector in online we'll touch on first um yeah so there's a lot of uh, players who experienced online will have experienced, no doubt, the KYC, the know your customer pain, the source of wealth, source of funds issues that every online operator has to go through. When people reach a certain threshold in regards to their deposits, they have to verify their wealth just to make sure people aren't, span aren't spending more than they can afford to lose. Um, so there is a lot of friction that can be caused in relation to fulfilling the regulatory requirements of the casinos in providing the appropriate information. Um, what we've done um, in setting up the business and the way we onboard customers is people have already been through some of those processes with regards to the ID verification. We can do a deeper dive with the players if they want to and provide um, enhanced documentation and background information for us which, assuming that the players and they're okay with it, we can share that with the casinos. You can be verified once when you sign up with, with ourselves. We can then share that with the operators. So effectively, when you want to then go and start playing with our chosen partners, then we can essentially passport the information through. So it's the friction involved in the sign-up process is removed because we can you know we can obviously share the the address information and data with the operator site we we we've already done some pre-verification with the players so the deposit checks the source of funds source of wealth etc because it's on blockchain as well there's no issues with regards to um provision that you know for example online early days there was huge problems with stolen credit cards and people doing chargebacks absolutely 100% eliminated by using blockchain. Um, you know, they, because of the transparency in, um, of the data, everybody knows where the funds have come from. And you can see that it is the person who is depositing is the person that owns the funds. So from a, an operator perspective, the, the player journey is a lot simpler. Um, and from a player's perspective, because the journey is a lot simpler, they're more likely to show loyalty to the site they're signing up with. I mean, people, I hate to say it, but we're, we're typically quite lazy people. Um, you know, we'll do whatever we can 
um, to try and remove repeated tasks. So if you're a member of, you know, you want to sign up to half a dozen different casinos, you don't want to go through a laborious sign up process half a dozen times and then try and remember all the different passwords and usernames, et cetera, that you've used on all the different sites. Why not use your smartphone? You know, do everything on your smartphone. You've already got your retina scans, your face ID checks, et cetera. So, you know, for example, if somebody's gambling, utilizing their casino coin on your online casinos, they've all, you can't say it was a stolen password as you can or has been experienced um, by online operators when people are playing on a laptop or a desktop PC. You know, you've had to use your fingerprint or your face ID to sign in. All of that is a benefit to the players because it's more secure and we're reducing their friction. It's a benefit to the operators because they have the reassurance that players have already been through some initial verification. The funds are already in the accounts. They know that it's, you know, they're not going to get chargebacks. Um, when we look to expand further on uh, offline, it, well, uh, we've already been through the initial um, benefits for the online stuff. But as I've just mentioned, however, for, for a land-based resort casino, you know, when you're, when you're playing in a land-based environment, um, for example, I know when I go to Vegas, I've got to carry around my hotel key card. I've got to carry my player loyalty card. I've got to carry my ATM card. Not only that, I might have some cash and casino casino chips in my pocket, as well as a ticket that the slot machine has just given me because I won, you know, a hundred bucks or whatever. We can remove all of that by just having everything stored on the player's phone. Um, you know, you've got your security because you've got your retina scans or your ID passcodes to get onto the phone. We've got partnerships with Casino Coin. We've got partnerships with the people that manufacture the ticket in, ticket out machines. We've got the technology to enable everybody to be able to go from venue to venue using the same um, payment method, using the same deposit method. And they don't have to worry about carrying cash or high value chips or queuing at a casino cage at the end of the night or queuing at the ticket machine in order to cash, you know, whatever their winnings are. Um, especially off the back of COVID, a lot of casinos are, are very concerned about um, social distancing, health and safety, et cetera. If people are just doing everything on their phones, then you're removing um, potential issues with regard to bottlenecks in the casinos with queues. You're freeing up people's time, which could, from a casino perspective, lead to more time on device, i.e. playing at the tables or in the pit, in the poker room. From a player perspective, Hell, you know, nobody likes queuing. If they can just sit down and get straight in the action as quickly as possible, great. And when they've got their winnings, if they can get that straight in their wallet, brilliant. Well, you know, you make such a good point. And I mean, you know, you're talking about removing the friction of the user experience, which also removes the friction for the casino operator as well, be it online or offline. I'm hearing another huge benefiting point here, which is to the operator. First, you referenced early on in, in your uh, remarks, you know, about the lobby app, the Casino Coin lobby app, which is really a giant virtual mall to house all these different casinos where you KYC AML one shot and you're in. And that is a huge friction, you know, removed for the user and for the operator. But another thing I hear you really pointing to, Mark, is data. Because if you're moving everybody into this, what you're really doing, if you're talking about a smooth, ubiquitous experience for everybody, look, if I'm if my favorite machines are a roulette or or if maybe I like to even play blackjack, you know, the operator is going to understand what my favorite choices are, right? And then they can really kind of make that experience and cater that to the user on the platform as well, can they not? Absolutely. Yeah. I mean it both online and offline, um, casinos will generally bonus a player um, as a way of trying to reinforce loyalty with the player. It's, But if you're a roulette or a blackjack player and you spend, arguments like 10 bucks a hand or 10 bucks a spin, if a casino offers you 20 spins on a slot machine at, at five cents a spin, it's probably not going to be of much interest to you. So 
the data we can collect within the back office system that we that we provide with uh, with the lobby, the operators, um, our partners, they can trace everything their players are doing, um, and it makes it makes the player experience a lot more rewarding because they can then identify and be rewarded for things that they like doing rather than just getting a, a generic email to say, hey, you know, you've got 10 free spins on whatever slot machine today. And that's not to say that people, you know, I love slot machines myself, but you can actually identify if people are playing slots, you can reward them with slot spins. If people love playing roulette or blackjack or baccarat, whichever game they like to play, you can ensure the rewards are targeted towards their favorite game. And that will re that will make the player feel more cared for because everybody wants likes to be rewarded with what they like rather than you know if if i'm a vegetarian i don't want to be offered a free steak at the steakhouse you know it's, it's just um data is incredibly valuable to everyone um and it helps yeah it helps get get the right people the right rewards at the right time Data is king. There's no doubt about it. And I'm hearing how Absolutely. that can really, really shape the experience for the users on the platform. And it also really just shows an enormous amount of uh, value to the casino operator. So kudos Absolutely. to you guys on that. Now, moving forward and beyond that, uh, you guys are doing stuff online trying to hook up the deals with, you know, brick and mortar places as well, but you're also in the metaverse. Is that right? Absolutely correct. Yes. Um, we've got a fantastic partnership with Art FX and they're working on an incredible environment for our players right now um, or coin holders, should I say, we don't actually, uh, sorry, I should just clarify. We don't actually operate a casino. So we're not in, in competition with our partners. Um, but we can provide uh, an incredible metaverse interface and experience for our partners, players. Um, and it, it's not like, for example, playing online, you miss the social aspects of gambling. You know, the social aspects you get in a land-based casino when you play. You miss that when you play online. What the metaverse will bring to your experience is it's your ability um, – sorry – what our metaverse is going to do is going to give people the ability to interact with other people in that metaverse environment. So it will be a digitized gaming experience. You know, craps, for example, in land-based casinos, everybody's heard them in Vegas, everybody hooping and a hollering around the table. Um, where you can't necessarily get that experience online when you're playing just you against the house. But in the metaverse environment we're creating, absolutely, it will be a completely immersive, social and interactive experience. We're further down the line. Um, we can recreate, uh, for example, the sporting experience. When, when people do sports betting, we can integrate some augmented and virtual reality features and functionality to further enhance the player experience when they're at the events in play betting or when they're at home doing the in play betting. So yeah, we're very excited about our metaverse. Um, it's coming soon. Yeah. Um, I need to speak to the team and see if they're going to release any teasers for it, but yeah, watch this space. It's going to be incredible. That's remarkable. It does sound like it's going to be very incredible. Now, where can people get the app the lobby app and who can experience and use it today mark uh anyone if you go to if apple or google play or wherever your chosen play store is if you go there search for the the zoom uh wallet that's x-u-m-m -M, uh download that app install it on your phone and it's there there's will be listed under the x apps um Anyone can download it. For what we do, though, um, obviously gambling, um, Casino Coin is designed for gambling, real money gambling. The legal age will depend on the jurisdiction you're playing from. For example, in the US, it's 21. From Europe, generally, it's around 18. Um, we don't, as I say, we don't actually run casinos ourselves. 
So the operators we are partnered with, it will be up to them who they accept, play, you know, which countries and jurisdictions they accept players from, and obviously the associated age for gambling in those areas. Um, we don't control that. That's done by the regulators. And because we're only going to be partnering with regulated businesses, um, yeah, it will be dependent on the licenses they hold for in terms of geography and age. Okay. And what about uh, anything coming up in the near term? I mean, if if you can't tell us, I know there's a lot of NDA things probably going on in your world, but what is it we could be looking forward to from Casino Coin going forward? Well, yeah. Um, some of the things I can tell you about um, is a fiat on an off-ramp, fiat being currency. Um, so there'll be a way to expedite the process of buying and selling casino coin. Uh, we're putting a, a lobby on an off-ramp there. We've got uh, the ability for gift cards. I mean, the clue for the our utility is in the name, casino coin, but there are people who don't necessarily want to gamble all the time. But we So we want to be able to provide them with utility for their coins. So we're having some gift card functionality put into the lobby. Um, so, for example, you could buy an Amazon voucher or um, Uber, you know, for a car or Uber Eats. Um, we've also including some gaming ability in there. So you can buy FIFA points or NBA points for your or Call of Duty for your favorite games that you play on your Xbox or your PlayStation. So there's additional utility coming in there. Um, some other things we're doing, for example, are your way to play. We know people um, may not have casino coin at the moment. We want to, just as we want to remove the friction for them to play at chosen casinos, we want to remove the friction for them to actually acquire casino coin. So what your way to play is going to be is essentially, I call it straightening spaghetti. Um, we know it's difficult sometimes or can be confusing sometimes to find, to move um, to buy and sell crypto coins or tokens with other crypto coins and tokens um, because not all exchanges list all coins. So you could have to hop through three or four different exchanges to get what you want. Your way to play, we remove that. We straighten the spaghetti, the complex mess, shall we say, behind it. Um, so we will have pathways set up already in the, in the background. So a player just selects what currency they have, and how they move it to casino coin, we do all the work in the background. Um, so there's just one other feature, I, if I could touch on as well, and that's the single sign-on. Um, as I've mentioned earlier, we want to remove lots of friction um, for our coin holders and for our operators themselves. So I mentioned about passporting information from the player's initial registration information to share that with all the chosen partners that we deal with based on a player's preference, obviously. Um, we're not just going to share that by default so people don't need to worry about the security of their data. But if they want to enhance and improve the speed and efficiency of the sign-up process, saving them time and effort, we can facilitate that through, through the wallet. Well, let me ask this question, and I, I didn't ask this before we recorded, and, and, and it's not a gotcha moment, but it's just, <laughs> it's just you know, it's a, it, you know, your, your personal thoughts as the CEO there, because I know that you're making great strides and doing a lot of work in the online world. I know that you're already doing great things in the metaverse side, you know, but let's talk about brick and mortar as we close this out here, Mark, you know, how okay. likely is it by your estimation that we will see a situation where casino coin is in a brick and mortar casino as a part of the experience and whether I'm in Vegas or whether I'm over in Europe somewhere, how likely do you see an experience like that? I would say it's very likely. Um, I can't give time scales. I cannot go into details of that, but we all know, you know, Technology continues to evolve and companies know it, it's, you know, keep up or die, so to speak. Um, yeah, we, I mean, traditional banking, that's always pushed against uh, cryptocurrencies and tokens and coins. 
but in the background, they're working on blockchain themselves. Um, the more traditional established businesses are slower to adopt than the newer, more agile businesses. Um, yeah, I can't give timescales, but I would say it's inevitable that you will see you will see it um, land based. That is truly exciting. Mark, I want to thank you for taking the time to sit down with me today. Mark Robson, welcome, CEO bro. of Eminence Casino Coin. Thank you so much. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.